and say it. How do you do? It's a great, great morning. Your first day in heaven when you realize your way days are through. You'll be glad you went out of the time to read the Bible. Oh, it's a great morning. A great morning. What a happy day. I have traveled oh so long With no place to call my home And I wondered if I'd ever find the way But I'm longing for the day When I'll hear my father say Welcome home my child From all your toil and care Welcome home my child Welcome home my child. Lord to me will say, yes, my Lord will say Welcome home my child Welcome home my one child one Life with its trouble and its strife, and my friends are gathered round to say goodbye. Don't you weep and cry for me, soon my Jesus I will see, and I'll hear him say, My child, you're welcome home. Welcome home, my child. promotions right here on the WOTG Radio Network, and we are in Sweetwater, Tennessee on this Saturday night playing some great Southern Gospel music. We ask all you people out there on Facebook, please share our program that others may hear these great gospel songs. We're glad to be here tonight, and we're looking forward to having a great time. If you'd like to correspond with us, you can send all letters to Alan Presley, 611 on Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Here's our address again, Alan Presley, 611 on Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Let's get on board and hear some great Southern Gospel music here tonight. Here is the pains to open up the program. The children of Israel, they had a battle to fight. Their enemies were as the grains of sand. Oh, 
That's called heaven How beautiful heaven must be When most of us leave home We'll usually call or send a letter To those we love the most I believe if our loved ones Have gone on to leave with Jesus Could write such a letter today This is what it might say I had a safe trip the angels carried me safely into Father Abraham's bosom. All oh, the thrill I felt when I met the one that died for me. And no matter what you've heard, there's just no words to describe the glory that surrounds him. I'm satisfied here. Every need's been supplied. Just wait till you see my new home. I'm satisfied because there's no sin here. No murders, no divorce, no abortions. No need for even to have locks on the doors. Perfect peace reigns here. I'm satisfied because there's no sickness. Why, well, I've never felt better in my life. I have a new body just like Jesus. I wish you could hear the singing. David played his harp and a great crowd gathered by the river of life and sang a new song. Of course, the angels couldn't sing that song, or they sure were all listening. It's really wonderful here because there's no strangers. Everyone knows me by name. Why, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego showed me around. It seems like I've been here forever. The weather's great. There's a cool breeze blowing all the time. And you know, one of the nicest things, night or darkness never come. It's like here all the time for Jesus himself. He's the light of the city. Please remember I'm safe and satisfied and I'm not sick anymore. There'll be no need for me to write again because I was told today that nothing here ever changes. In closing, the only thing that will make this wonderful place more complete is for all my family and friends to join me here in heaven.
personal shame. He's a personal shame. He's a personal friend. He's mine, I know. Yes, he's mine, I know. I love him so. He did my heart. Yes, he did my heart. A personal favor. That's why. Since forgiven, I'm telling you, I'd like to see you get this feeling you can receive. God's ready now to give the spirit if you believe. For oh, he's a personal savior, a personal savior, he's, a personal friend. he's mine, I know. Yes, he's mine, I know. I love him so. He did my heart. Yes, he did my heart. A personal, a personal favor. favor. That's why I'll tell him now wherever I may go.
across the finish line. I'm pressing toward the mark and for the prize. At times I've had to stand my ground. Satan's trying to turn me around, but I will not be hindered by his lies. Oh, I'm not gonna walk away. I've got too much at stake. I've come too far to turn back now. Every battle that I have fought will soon be forgotten. I'm trading. So crossing for a crowd. I can almost hear them cheer me on and see the ones that have reached home. And now they wait for us to win this race. A banquet like we've never known will be held at God's royal throne. Turn back now Every battle That I have fought Will soon Be forgotten I'm trading this old cross In for a crown Oh, I'm not I'm not gonna walk away I've got I've got too much at stake I've come Too far to turn back
his cross high in the air eyes of love like never seen said all of this i've done for thee salvation is free to all who will receive the blood avail for me that's what happened at the cross salvation's pain can be that's what So divine, endless mercy now yours and mine. It's time to celebrate. Lift up your voice and say, His blood avail for me. That's what happened at the cross. Salvation's plan complete. That's what happened at the cross. One man between two thieves died to set the whole world. Exodus. You are listening to WOTG Radio with Brother Allen and Sister Linda Presley. If you are wondering more about Exodus Ministry, just go to our website, exodus-southerngospel.com. Or if you are wanting to book Exodus, call 256-312-5639. Or you can go through Dominion Agency, 828-454-5900 or 828-454. Four five four five nine one seven. Exodus would love to be a part of your worship event. We look forward to hearing from you. May God bless you all. And don't forget, keep listening in to WOTG Radio and Alan Presley Promotions, where they let go and let God. our country every part of our great land there is pride in America and those who proudly stand they stand for the prize of freedom shining forth its light our troops who serve with honor who fight the valiant fight so stand up for our country, the red, the white, the blue. Stand up for our heroes and all they try to do. And for those who serve with honor, God bless you all and all. For you proudly served our country, you answered freedom's call. Now don't let others tell you Our country, well it cannot win For they have all forgotten The past and where we've been And how the Lord has blessed us Our country one and all Because 
cause we stood for what is right and answered to its call. Now there's a grand old lady in New York by the bay, a symbol of the freedoms that we hold dear today. A sign for one and all That freedom will forever reign If we answer to its call To stand up for our country Forever white the blue Stand up for our heroes And all they try to do WOTG Radio Network, and right here from 210 Small from downtown Sweetwater, Tennessee. We're going to have a word of prayer here, and we need to pray for all of our country and all those that are sick and not feeling too good tonight. But more than anything, we need to pray for those that are lost without Jesus Christ, and we need to pray for the Christians that we, they will. Uh, definitely look into the Word of God and grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The world is so mixed up. People is so mixed up. I've never seen so much confusion in all of my life. And uh, people is not basing, basing their stuff on God's Word. And that's what we need to base it on, our, our, our is God's word and what God has to say about it. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer, and right after this, Lady Presley, who's coming up to sing next? The singing birds. And what are they going to be singing? Blanket of blue. The blanket of blue, the singing birds. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer, then we're going to get back with the singing birds. Our Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for the opportunity that we have to come on and play these great gospel songs and to talk about our Lord. God, we pray for one another. God, you told us to love one another. Love one another even as ourselves. And God, we need to care. We need to love. And God, we thank you for your love. And we thank you that you loved us, that you sent your son to die for our sins. And God, I pray if there's a person out there that may be listening to our program, that they will give their heart and that they give their life to you. And God, we know that you're willing to if they would come to you and accept you and repent of their sins. Now, God, I pray that you will use this program for your glory and your honor. I pray for everybody, regardless of wherever they may be, whatever country they may be listening in, Whatever state or what city they're in, we pray that they will look to you and trust in you and believe in you. I pray for the problems that we have in our country. And Lord, we do have a care for all these problems. And that is you, Lord. That is you, Jesus. And I pray that the people will realize that and the people will accept that. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Let's get back on with the program tonight, and we got the singing birds coming up right now. Take a listen. Here we go, lady. the song His name shall be Emmanuel 
never seen Nor have my ears heard What my Father has in store But when I hear the song of a sweet
often pondered, searched my mind, studied and wondered how America went from days of power and glory to its present condition of evil living and squander. When and how did our forefathers dream of liberty and freedom turn into such a despicable excuse of an example of a godly nation? I studied and after much prayer and many tears had I cried. I understood and knew when and where Oh, glory died. No, it wasn't in 63 when one person got prayer taken out of school. Nor was it in 73 when the Supreme Court said abortion was cool. It wasn't when Johnson's war on poverty turned work into a dirty word. It wasn't paying unwed women to have babies for an extra check or card. It wasn't when the highest official in the land said, it all depends on what the word is means. And she stood by his side. These are only symptoms of a much bigger thing. The day old glory died. Much like the doctor who gives you a pill to take care of your pain. Side effects come, you've got more pills and docs money gains. Politicians, judges, and lawyers of all parties have made a fortune while we the people ante up and are forced to pay for corruption. But the root cause of all the shame, evil, and the fall into Satan's grip on any given Sunday in all his doctrinal glory, stands behind the pulpit. According to God's holy word, there's the reason old glory died. He proclaims we must be more accepting. Don't make anyone cry, because there's really no hell. Perverted lifestyles, murderers, liars, or sin. Jesus' blood covers it all. Just bring your money, put it in the tin. And then tomorrow, go out and do it all over again. Preachers have ceased preaching the truth and to their calling lied. This, my fellow American, is the reason and the day old glory died. here on the Alan Presley promotional program and folks I appreciate Elton Wright for playing that song and uh, I mean it's not a song but he told the truth right there and that that truth needs to be proclaimed I'm going to share something with you tonight that some of you might not like some of you might click me off he's done already been a bunch of people everywhere that's clicked me off don't like Alan Presley don't care but I'm going to tell you one thing. If they're going to go to heaven, they got to like Alan and Linda Presley, and they got to love us if they go to heaven. And if they don't love us, they're not going to heaven. I promise you that because we must love one another. But we, I've, had, I've had pastors. 
I've had pastors. I, I've I've discerned the truth, and I and I don't care to stand and tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. I've had pastors that cuts me off, that won't talk to me. They won't even speak to me and Linda, and they some of them even got jealous over the program that we do, and they cut me off, and they won't talk to me, and they don't want to affiliate with me no more. And Elton Wright tells the truth. You know what's wrong with America and what's wrong with the world? It stands behind the pulpit. So every Sunday they stand behind the pulpit. They will not preach God's word, what says the word of God. They listen to the deacon board or somebody else in the church. They don't want to make them bad because they wanted to put a dollar or two in the offering every Sunday morning where they can get their salary. They're afraid to preach the truth. That's what's happened to America. That's what's happened to our world. And people does not love God. They don't care for God. Yes, Alan's got pastors that won't even speak to him, won't even talk to him, but they'll stand behind a pulpit and they, they, they get up and do their old thing and share their old thing and do their old thing every Sunday morning. And yet, they won't even speak to another preacher because he stands for God and he lives for God? I back one Elton Wright 100% on that. That's what's wrong with America. You know the reason America's in trouble? It's because uh, the preachers have quit preaching. They quit preaching the word of God. They're afraid what somebody's going to do in the church. Why you go to some church and look like you're sitting down in Myrtle Beach or on the beach in Florida or on the beach in California? Man, you can't tell no difference from the saints of God. They go to church looking like they're half naked in the church. Women dressed every godly everything in the world. You say, well, Al, you're sharing the truth. Yeah, I'm going to show you the truth. When we go to church anymore, we look like a bunch of Jezebels coming to church. And you know what happened to Jezebel? Yes. Then, then, then we get in trouble. You know, we look like we're sitting at the beach in a lot of churches anymore. A lot of churches, they cancel off for everything. They cancel out on Labor Day. A lot of people wants to take a break on God. Said, I'm going to take a break on God, and I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to uh, uh, do this. I need a break. I'm going to take a break. God hates breaks. You know, the Bible said in the book of Luke, in the book of Revelation, when He talked to the churches, seven churches of Asia, He says, "If you be lukewarm, I'll spew you out of my mouth." God don't like lukewarm Christians. Because they're cold, they're indifferent, they're dead. And folks, no wonder America is a dying. No wonder the world is a dying. Everything in the world goes on in what we call the church anymore. But you know in the book, in the Bible, it said, Where two or three are gathered together in my name, thou sh shall be in the midst. Right here in this, right here in this room. God is here every night in this program. And there's more than two or three sometimes in this room. Me and Linda is here every night. Now, can God lie? He said, I'll be in the mess. And some of our dead beat churches, they call it, I'm going to build a church. I'm going to build a church. I need a lot of money to build a church. I'm gonna build a, you, you're going to build a building. You're not going to build a church. You don't build a church like that. Build a church. You got to knock on doors. You got to be your soul winner. You got to go out and tell people about Jesus, and you got to win them to God. Then that's how your church starts. You don't just build a building and say, "Well, that's going to be a church." No, that's all that is is a building. There's no difference in that building and the house me and Linda are sitting in right now. God said, "Where there were two or three gathered together, we have just as much church right here." as any other church has. And sometimes we got more. And we're having more. Because we're looking at a bunch of deadbeat churches. Some of them's gone to having their beer on Sunday night in the basements of the church. And some of them live like everything but a church. Have the TV in the church where they what, can... What, Linda? They have the TV in their church where they can watch Super Bowl every year. And they call themselves a church. I call them a pack of hypocrites headed toward hell. 
Yeah, they have their they 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 they, they have a big screen TV in the church watching the Super Bowl. Yeah, come on, come on now. Let, I, I, let me say a mouthful of why I'm mad. I care less what people think about me. I care less if you hate me. Yeah, I, I don't like want you to hate me, but I'm going to tell you the love of God if you don't like it. Hey, there's another program we're going down the street, and most of them will tell you a big black lie to where everybody wants to go. They like somebody that tells a lie. Yeah, they like people that tells lies. You say, hey, you know that, Al? I hear them. I hear them. Don't you hear them? Yeah, I hear them every day on radio program. DJs even lies. Tell lies. And we eat it up. We holler, oh, glory, hallelujah. That's God. God never permitted nobody to tell a lie. And God said all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. Now, if you, you don't like that, take your scissors and cut it out of your Bible. But you ain't cutting it out of mine. Because you add up to it and take them away from it, your name will be taken out of the Lamb's Book of Life. I feel like preaching a little bit tonight, and I guess I am. I'm sick and tired of this world. I'm sick and tired of the way the so-called Christians do anymore. And they're lukewarm, they're cold, they're different. No love for one another. Let's come on, let's go a little bit further. We even have people involved in the, in the gospel music and southern gospel music. They're jealous of one another. They get out and pat you on the back and say, oh, you've done a fine job. Then turn around and stab you in the back and put you down. And you wouldn't believe some of the junk is going on even in our southern gospel music and people trying to dig up crap to make a dollar bill. God have mercy. I know it takes money to operate. I know it takes money to operate. And it does. It takes money for us to operate and stay on the air. But I'm not going to compromise with nobody to get, to get, get the money and get the dollar bill. If you don't have enough love of God in your heart to sponsor the truth, I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for everybody that does not have that love of God in their heart to stand up for what's right and stand up for the truth. And all of my life, I never heard a president going through what Donald Trump has went through. Never I've ever heard a president facing and going through what he's doing. You know why he's happening? Our so-called Christians that's not willing to stand for the truth. Everybody wants their isms and their schism is what I believe. It don't make no difference. Y'all, you, 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 some of them they say the old, oh, the, the Bible is old fashioned. It's old fashioned. It's going to get me to heaven. And you know what? I go, you, everybody right now is concerned football season, football season. Is that a God? Has football become a God? 100,000 people in Needham Stadium, the Alabama Stadium, and all that, whooping and hollering and whooping hard. Oh, somebody said, they are anointed, anointed from the devil. Ain't no sport is supposed to become before God. And then our churches suffer. I've been told right here in my own area. Don't you plan nothing. Don't let the churches plan nothing while football season going on. Now, at the, my Bible, that says that's putting another God before God. Why don't we have the love of God? Now you have a revival and the church says, they think it's two or three nights is a busy time for a revival and they have a two or three night revival. I remember when about revivals used to go two and three weeks. Used to go two and three weeks. And people got saved right and left. I've helped baptize in a cold creek in Fort Creek down here, just about three miles from me. When they took my breath, we baptized about 50 or 60 people at one time. Me and my uncle did. Yeah, in the cold creek. 
in the winter when the one got sick. What's happened to our love? What's happened to our deadbeat churches? What's happened to our people? I thought we was all in this thing to pull together and work together. But nobody wants to work together. Nobody wants to pull together. We want to stab each other in the back and, and, and still proselyte. You, do you know, you, you people know what proselyting is? Stealing sheep. Somebody goes to one church and, and, and start compromising a little bit and let it talk to them and say, how about coming down to my church? That's a little bit better. Hey, proselyting goes on on the Internet, too. And these gospel programs are supposed to be gospel programs. We want to we wanna solicit, and we want to proselyte. We work against each other. When we're supposed to be pulling against each other, pulling for each other and working together, I guarantee you when we get to heaven, there's not going to be one group over in one corner and another group over in another corner and a Baptist over in another corner and Nazarene, Nazarene in another corner, Church of God in another corner, the Methodist in another corner, and, a, and, a, and another group in another corner. We're all going to be together. If we get there, I pray a lot of us ain't going to get there. I pray a lot of us not going to make it with our attitudes. And, and, and we do all this stuff. But you know what Jesus and God said? Their blood is going to be required in our hands. There's going to be an awful lot of blood on people's hands because we can't love and we can't pull together and do things. My listeners have fell down. They don't like I own Linda Presley. That's fine. But I still will be standing for the truth. Some of you out there listening to this program may take off and fly a kite. Go ahead. But I'll be the same tomorrow night and the next night. Because I'm going to face God one day. And God didn't call you to say what I want to say. I have to answer for what I say. And I, I, I back mine by the authority of God's word. Let's get on with some more music. I didn't mean to preach. Yeah, I did mean to preach. I, I meant it, every bit of it. What we got coming up, Linda? I didn't even see that. Uh, we'll play this one again. Uh, what is it? The day, the day Old Glory Died. The, the Day Old Glory Died. This is something we need to listen to. We need a double dose of this tonight. Elton Wright, I know you listen quite a bit. I know that you 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 sent me this stuff. Elton Wright, you got my approval on this 100%. Take a listen, Linda. I often pondered, searched my mind, studied and wondered. How America went from days of power and glory To its present condition of evil living and squander When and how did our forefathers dream of liberty and freedom Turn into such a despicable excuse of an example of a godly nation I studied and after much prayer and many tears had I cried I understood and knew when and where old glory died. No, it wasn't in 63 when one person got prayer taken out of school. Nor was it in 73 when the Supreme Court said abortion was cool. It wasn't when Johnson's war on poverty turned work into a dirty word. It wasn't paying unwed women to have babies for an extra check or card. It wasn't when the highest official in the land said, it all depends on what the word is means. And she stood by his side. These are only symptoms of a much bigger thing. The day old glory died. 
Much like the doctor who gives you a pill to take care of your pain. The side effects come, you've got more pills and docs money gains. Politicians, judges, and lawyers of all parties have made a fortune while we the people ante up and are forced to pay for corruption. But the root cause of all the shame, evil, and the fall into Satan's grip on any given Sunday in all his doctrinal glory stands behind the pulpit. According to God's holy word, there's the reason old glory died. He proclaims we must be more accepting. Don't make anyone cry because there's really no hell. Perverted lifestyles, murderers, liars, or sin. Jesus' blood covers it all. Just bring your money, put it in the tin, and then tomorrow, go out and do it all over again. Preachers have ceased preaching the truth and to their calling lied. This, my fellow American, is the reason and the day Oh, glory die. that we called home and I remember the way things used to be we never had much money but somehow we got by cause we were a close family And many men could stand And mama never once complained about things that she would need She always seemed to see the best in everything Time cannot erase those precious memories of being part of a close family. To see them all again the way we were back then 
just to be there would mean so much to me. I'm a better man today for what I learned back then, and it's good to recall those days gone by. The years have come and gone, and time has left its mark. But old home scenes still weigh heavy on my mind. The home fires flicker still, and I guess they always will. That's how it is with a close family. And many men could stand And my mama never once complained About things that she would need She always seemed to see The best in everything Precious memories of being part of a close family. No time cannot erase those precious memories of being part of a close family.
again The hills will echo with the story As we sing of His grace and glory Where the saints of God will be That sounds like home to me saints of God will be that sounds like home to me
words I'm gonna say goodbye Sometimes when I see the sun arising I am so surprised that I'm still here I just can't wait to wake up in heaven And I know that day, that day is very near Cause I'm going one of these mornings to a land with never a night Oh yes, I'm going one of these mornings where the robe of spotless white One of these mornings I'll be flying high One of these mornings I'm gonna say goodbye Sitting from row at the feet of Jesus I know I wear a smile that never fades as I sing along with saints and angels, my time down here on earth will seem so far away. Yes, I'm going one of these mornings to a land with never a night. Oh, yes, I'm going one of these mornings where the robe of spotless white. One of these mornings I'll be flying high. One of these mornings I'm gonna say goodbye. One of these mornings to a land with never a night Oh yes, I'm going one of these mornings Where the robe of spotless white One of these mornings I'll be flying high Yes, I'm going one of these mornings To a land with never a night Oh yes, I'm going one of these mornings Where the robe of spotless white One of these mornings I'll be flying high Say goodbye, 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 goodbye. You are listening to Alan Presley Promotions right here on the WOTG Radio Network from Sweetwater, Tennessee. And man, we've been having a great time here playing these great Southern gospel songs, and man, we're just having a great time, and I hope you people out there listening is enjoying the music too, and you're listening to Alan Presley Promotions right here on the WOTG Radio Network, and folks, if you'd like to correspond to us or or send us a message or send us a letter, you can send that to Alan Presley, 611 Highway 68. Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Here's that address again, Alan Presley, 611 Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. If you ever travel it up and down I-75, get off exit 16, come east, and you can find us very easy. This is the home of the Lost Sea, and that is very beautiful if you had never seen that. Okay, I'm going to say to everybody, we've enjoyed it tonight. We've had a great time. I'm going to turn it over to Lady Presley this time. Lady Presley. Okay, we got time to do uh, a few more. And we're, we're sure glad that you all joined in tonight to listen to this good old gospel music, southern gospel music. Yeah, that's what we like to play. So... Enjoy the rest of the program. Thank you. And we love doing our job here. And we love doing this great gospel music, sharing the love of Jesus Christ. Lady Presley, who's up next? Uh, let's see. A uh, Booger but, Swamp. Yeah. Okay. Let's listen to Booger Swamp on Alan Presley Promotions right here. Here we go. Baptizing me, he called. 
climbed up on the tall old mountain for forty days. He talked to thee, and there he was, tapped by old Satan, the Son of God. He surely be.
speckled bird Remember her name is recorded On the pages of God's holy word Now all the other churches against her all her fame They hate her because she is chosen and has not denied Jesus' name Desiring to lower her standard she makes they'd love to find fault with her teachings well but really they find no mistake now she's free Just 
inside the gate. I know it's Jesus. I know it's Jesus, my Lord. Loved ones that we've known are on the other side. And by grace, we're going to see them when the gates swing open wide. But who, who is that waiting just inside the gate? I know it's Jesus. I know it's Jesus, my Lord.
Oh! 